Hi folks, welcome back to yet another episode. Before we get into the video, a little something about Deto Insurance. We are an insurance advisory platform. We help you with health and term insurance. Well, if you just want to compare policies or know about what an insurance is, then please don't hesitate to book a free of cost chat with our advisors with the link in the description. This is free and in under two minutes, we'll assign you an advisor. And folks, today we have a very interesting topic. We are here to review the changes made by IRDAI in terms of term insurance writers. Now, Sushant, uh, welcome, first of all. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's been quite some time since we had a chat and what a topic to come back to, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, IRDAI has been there for the longest of the time and right. they are like the stick for the insurance companies. Mm -hmm. Now, how significant is IRDAI in uh, the perspective of insurance companies and consumers as well? I think I'd actually, like you said, right, they're almost like a stick. Um, I would go to the extent of calling them the backbone of the insurance industry. Um, I think the regulations, they're not just a regulatory body, but they're there to protect the interests of not only the insurance companies, but also of the policyholders. So one, they ensure that the insurance companies are maintaining transparency. They even look at the insurance companies' financials to ensure that, look, these guys can operate and fulfill the promises that they've given to all the customers out there. Um, and two, I think for a customer, they do ensure that insurance companies uh, stick to the kind of features they've promised, all the services they've promised, those are always going to remain. So I think yeah, that broadly summarizes how they um, act as a very unbiased body, okay. neither supporting an insurance company nor a policyholder. And at the end of the day, they're there to simply ensure transparency. Because that's something that I feel a lot of people have that skepticism, right? That the insurance industry comes with a lot of, there's a lack of transparency. You don't know what's going to happen when it finally comes down to it. Exactly. But the IRD is to make sure, is there to make sure that that stays. Beautiful. Now, uh, from what I could gather, Right, there have been a couple of changes mm -hmm. um, in terms of the term insurance riders. Right. And I think it's effective from October 2024. Right. So let's start. Uh, what's on your list? Uh, what are the changes? I think yeah, we'll get to the riders in a minute. But firstly, let's start with one where if you buy a life insurance plan, um, you have the option to pay for five, seven, ten years. This is known as limited pay in term or life insurance, right? Where your policy tenure is 30, 40 years, but you pay just for the first five, ten years. Exactly. Uh, now, some people after doing this, maybe 20 years later, realize they want to surrender the plan. Or in the middle of this five, ten year tenure itself, they realize that, hey, you know what? I, I don't want to continue this sort of scheme and I'd like to let it go. Now, there was something known as a surrender value. That if I were to surrender my plan, over the last couple of years, I might have paid one lakh per year. Um, the insurance company does pay you back a very small amount. This was known as special surrender value. Okay. Meaning if I paid 1, 1 lakh for two years, um, the insurance companies would offer you maybe 20, 30% of your premiums back. Right? Saying that, okay, you're leaving, so why not take a little bit at least. The new change that has come in is that IRD has now mandated a higher amount of special surrender value. Meaning customers will be eligible to get back more of their premiums than they were getting earlier. Okay. Uh, the exact numbers change, right? It depends on how many years are done, what point you surrender it, and so on. So I can't really share specific numbers, but yes, it is higher than what it used to be. Plain and simple, that's a significant change. Very significant, in fact. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, in terms of the surrender value option, that the, the value has increased. Absolutely. All right. So any other changes? Um, another interesting one I personally found was IRDA mandating something called a customer information sheet. Okay. So earlier, most customers would you know, sort of uh, have to go through a policy brochure of wording, right? And try to comprehend those complicated jargons and terms. But now IRD is mandated that every insurance company should have one single sheet, like a one page of document giving a brief summary of all the features that come in the policy. Okay. Um, so it's basically a one, one page of document giving you an entire summary of what you're going to get, what you're paying for and so on. So it's a brief summary that makes it a lot easier, right? To kind of, for a user to understand and Digest that, okay, this is what I'm thinking, then he is in a better position to decide now. Yeah. Um, that's a new mandate as well. That, that, that's a pretty good move, uh, <laughs> if you ask me, because uh, if I were to go through a 16-page document versus a one-page document, yep. I would skip all the 16, but yep. one page, so good job there, IRDI. Yeah, I think oh. even the terminology used, right, the 16-page would have a lot of uh, complicated sort of uh, I know. to comprehend, but exactly. one page's intention is to simplify it. Pretty exactly. Much. Yep. So, any other changes as well? So, the third change is one I feel a lot of people might have missed. This one is about the free lookup period. So, most users might have heard of this, that when you buy an insurance policy, uh, you have either 15 days or 30 days from the date it's issued 
the first 15 or 30 days is where you can go through it and in case you change your mind you can always surrender the policy and get back your premiums yeah um, i'm sure this is a common feature in, in all insurances right not yeah. just life insurance that's right um, so this used to be 15 days for offline plans and 30 days for online plans Meaning if I buy it from an offline agent, it's 15 days and anywhere purchased online would be 30 days. Now IRD is mandated a flat 30 days regardless of where you've purchased it from. Okay. So that gives the customer a bit of time to go back, relook at the policy, speak to some friends and family, um, consult with some platforms maybe just to make sure he's taking the right decision. Um, and in case he's changed his mind, he can always sort of surrender it and get his premiums back. Now please note the rule earlier as well was that look, you don't get back 100% of your premiums. Um, in case it's a life insurance, for example, uh, before your policy is issued, they do a medical checkup. Two, to issue your policy document, there's something called stamp duty charges because that is a legal document at the end of the day. Those charges might be deducted from your premiums should you surrender. This rule was always there, nothing has changed here. So when you surrender, you might lose a bit of money, but yes, you're not trapped in that policy if you feel it's a wrong decision. You Fair enough. It's a get out of jail free card. Yes, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> All right. I think there's one more change that uh, mm -hmm. We are yet to review and what's that? Yeah, I think this is the big one. Uh, this is the rider sort of change okay. which we started off with. Um, so earlier, how it used to work? Life insurance is a component. Most users are aware of this that your premiums are locked in for the entire tenure. You buy it for 30 years, 40 years, whatever it is, your base plan premiums, right? That one crore, two crore you've bought, that's a locked in sort of premium. The riders, however, if you bought something called a criticalness rider over and above that, where you are paying an additional amount in case a criticalness happens, they give you some sort of payout. This premium could be revised every 5-10 years. This amount was not locked in. Okay. Now their logic could have been that look, probability of criticalness might change in the future. So they want that sort of variability there. Take COVID for example, right? Post-COVID, I'm sure there were some cases of heart-related risks rising. So the insurance company obviously feels that look, if probability of claims increase, we'd like to safeguard ourselves with an increase in premium. Um, and IRD did allow this for years and years, that you can have flexibility on your rider premium, but now you can't. So okay. that was a big change that happened. Um, in fact, it was it, it almost disrupted the industry briefly because insurers had to now take a step back. They were given a very short notice that look, October 1st onwards, you have to stop. Uh, so the first thing most of them did was they withdrew the rider, right? So yeah. a lot of customers who wanted it were now left keep, hey, do I wait for them to come back or what do I do? Um, thankfully, they obviously didn't want to lose business, so they did come back with a solution. Okay. Um, in about 10-15 days, they were back by mid-October and the plans were live once again. Great, great. So, uh, are there any significant changes in terms of uh, other riders? Mm -hmm. um, or rather, let me put it this way, we have a couple of recommendations here at Ditto. Right. So, how have these riders changed for these plans? Um, okay, so let's say firstly, HDFC Life for example. Um, earlier, they would let you take the rider for whatever tenure you wanted, but this sub clause was there, right? That look, we can come back and revise the premiums every 5, 10 years and so on. Uh, now what they've done is since IRD says you have to lock in the premiums, um, their decision was that look, okay, then we lock it for a particular tenure. Now 5, 10 years might be a bit too less, so they kind of came back and met us somewhere halfway. Um, if I'm not wrong, HDFC is locked it in at 15 years. Okay. That's what HDFC's rule is, that for 15 years we'll offer a critical illness plan. Meaning if a customer buys a plan, a term plan for 30 or 40 years, he'll have a criticalness rider only for 15 years. It's okay. not that the price has changed later. The rider ceases to exist after 15 years. So you have no coverage for critical illness post 15 years? So they have given us the sort of subjectivity that you'll be allowed to renew it if you want to. It's under a term insurance, you can have the option to renew the rider for another 15 years if you'd like to. But that's going to come with extra... To, exactly, it'll come yeah. with premiums at that point in time. And two, it's subject to underwriting. Meaning, today you might have bought the plan as a young, healthy, fit individual. 15 years later, if things are not the same, the life insurance is always there to protect you. But this rider, they may or may not give it to you considering your recent medical developments. Understood. Uh, that's a clause obviously in place. Okay. Um, this is it for HDFC. Uh, Max Life is a bit better. I think they gave us a 20 year option. So it's slightly a little more flexible. Um, but clauses are the same like I mentioned earlier, right? You can renew it if you'd like to. Um, ICICI is probably the last player I'd like to talk about. They've always had a 30 year tenure with a price lock in. So thankfully, they were one of the very few brands that were not impacted by this whole change. Okay. And October was a good month for them, right? Because <laughs> business is smooth as usual. In yeah. fact, it even picked up because other brands didn't have it. So everyone went to ICICI for a brief moment. Exactly. But yes, at the end of the day, ICICI still remains the same. No changes at all. Um, and I don't think they have an option to renew post 30 years. 
their critical illness is valid for 30 years, after that those premiums are no longer charged and you still pay for your life insurance. I think it makes sense because most of the policy tenure is 30, 35, 40 years. So. Depends. I mean, yeah. if you buy in your early 20s, then yes, you should be looking at a close to a 40 year tenure, right? Till you're 60, 65. Uh, but to add more to that, right? Let's say just the whole concept or logic of a critical illness rider. Um, at least our recommendation is that you're not buying this to cover your hospital bills. You're buying this to give you some sort of an income support at that point in time. Look, should a criticalness happen, your health insurance is going to save you at the end of the day, right? To cover your medical expenses. Uh, the concept here is that these companies will give you the payout the moment you show them diagnosis. They're not concerned with what your treatment was, how long it went for, anything. All they want to see is, has this illness been diagnosed? Is it as per the terms and conditions mentioned? If yes, they will pay you the amount of 10, 20 lakhs that you opted for. Okay. And you can do what you'd like with the money, right? You can invest it, you can save it. My idea would be that, look, use it as an income replacement or an expense support, right? Exactly. While you're getting your treatment, your house still runs. So look at it this way, that if it's valid for 20, 30 years, um, I don't see you working for much longer beyond that, right? I see you retiring by maybe 50s. Um, and it doesn't have to be something that has to be all the way until the end of the term. Exactly, line. yeah. Um, so that's why I don't think this is too bad and even reasonable because it's brought down the cost as well. Insurers can now see that, okay, if it's just for the next 20 years, the probability is calculated accordingly and the cost of the rider came down a little bit as well. Um, so I see this as a win-win for customers as well as the insurance companies. So Sushant, what about Tata AI? Their changes seem a little unique. So I think Tata has probably done the most notable change where they've given it simply for five, five year tenures. So we're not the happiest with it, but yes, they do offer the option to renew it every five years and have your premiums readjusted. Um, I think like we've seen HDFC and Max giving me 15, 20 years, I would say Tata is kind of not up, up to the mark there, right? In terms right. of how the others are doing it. Right. But thankfully they have promised that, look, you can always renew it and your premiums will be constantly adjusted. But yeah, I think uh, most users still might prefer a slightly longer tenure. Yeah, I mean, each to themselves, right? So some people would, would want critical illness, some, some wouldn't. Some would want it for five years, some 15, some 30, so, but yeah, depends right. on them. Thank you, Sushant. This was a really insightful discussion. Uh, now, folks, this brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please drop a like and uh, comment if you have any questions and Sushant here will be able to answer them. We'll be back with more videos on health and term insurance. And in the meantime, if you have any doubts, please book a free of cost consultation with our advisors with the link in the description. And until next time, happy insurance hunting.